Hi, Jonathan Pickup. I'm going to have a quick look at the fence tool today. So we're going to have a look at the fence tool in 2023. We're going to have a look at the fence tool in 2024. And I'm going to show you a little bit about how I made this particular fence. Let's talk about how I got started. So my client wanted to have a fence like this in Vectorworks 2023. So let's look at how I made this. So the client wanted to have a series of uprights and this rail at the bottom. So in order to do that, what I did was I didn't have a top rail. I put my posts quite close together. They're about 90 millimeters apart, which gives this effect of the fence. Then for the infill, I turned off most of the infill, but I did leave this bar at the bottom. If I turn off the infill, you'll see the bar at the bottom disappears. Now the bar is important because that's how the fence is fixed to the concrete. Now in Vectorworks 2024, I've created a very similar fence but this time I was able to get the bar at the bottom, the rail, exactly the right shape. It's actually an angle iron which is used to bolt down to the concrete. And these verticals are welded to that angle iron. So I was able to build this in 2024 so it exactly matches the client's requirements. Not only that, but you'll notice that the fence also follows the site model, which is really important. So let's have a look at my settings this time. There's my fence. Let's have a look at my style. And here's the style that I created. And so you can see it's got the uprights, the posts like I had before. I've got the distance apart. That's about 100 millimeters gap between them, four inches between them. There's my post profile. But for the rails, I actually used a special rail. If I click here, you'll see I used an angle profile. And that gives me my angle at the bottom. And I created the height at zero. So that gave me exactly what I needed to be able to bolt that down to the concrete, have the posts welded to it. So it gives me the ability to create the exact construction that I needed for this fence. I hope you enjoyed that movie. Now, if you really enjoyed it, think about becoming a member. There's going to be a more detailed movie showing exactly how I created that rail because I had to make a custom rail for the bottom in order to get that angle on it. So if you're not already a subscriber, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But if you want to see more, don't forget to become a member. You'll see more movies in more detail like this one. Thanks for watching.